So in this video, I want to define what a matrix is. Um, you can think of a matrix as a square or rectangular array consisting of what was commonly denoted as, you know, M rows and N columns. Um, and so I'm going to write rows and I'm going to write columns. And each each row column pair has a consists of a number like a two, a three, b one, b two, b three, c one, c two, c three, and each one of these numbers is what we call an entry. So this is an entry into the array, and in um, you can look at entry A1, that's going to be located at row 1, column 1. And so that would be its location. And we can actually denote these like this. Um, commonly you'll see entries denoted with uh, the rows and the columns as uh, subscripts. So like A11 would be uh, this entry, and then this one would be um, A12 because we do rows and columns first. And then we have C13 because we're doing rows and columns first. and then and then so on. 2, 1 because it's the second row, first column. 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3. Um, but when, in terms of notation, when we're, when we're talking about a, a matrix, um, commonly we're going to refer to it, you know, by writing a capital letter like A. With vectors, you'll see me do you know a plethora of things, and I wasn't entirely specific in the videos on vectors, and so, um, but from now on, when we're talking about vectors or matrices, um, you'll you'll see me distinguish between the notation, um, but which is which is kind of funny. It, it, you know, we don't have to have a; it can be it can be uh, you know x. We can call this matrix anything. Uh, this is math, and so whatever we place upon it, as long as we, we stay consistent, we can always uh, you know refer back and, and follow logic. And so that's uh, um, that's that's the great thing about math. But um, see, the, there's there's several different types of matrix. So like matrices, this one is square. It doesn't have to be square. It can be rectangular. Like I said, it's either a square or rectangular array. Um, so some examples are you know we can have a um, this matrix here, which is uh, I'm going to denote as a um, a two by three or a three by two, sorry. You know, with like numbers five, one, six, seven, two, four. We can also have a a two by three. Um, you know, numbers nine, zero, four, eight, six, and three. This would be a two by three. Uh, we can also have um, we can also have a one by one matrix. So um, you know, like this right here is a one by one matrix. Technically a matrix. Um, we can also write you know uh, what we what we commonly refer as a vector um, is technically a matrix. So it's a um, a in this case a three by one or a one by three. And so, um, yeah, I mean, matrices are just ways of like representing, uh, you know, information, uh, just like vectors. We use vectors to, to represent uh, objects. Um, we use matrices to represent uh, objects or, or a set of objects. Um, you know, you can think of, you know, in this top example, I'll use this top example here, but I mean, this is a, as you can see, like this is a, um, a three by three matrix, right? But, you know, you can think of this uh, as three separate, what are called column vectors. And so like A right here is a vector. And since A is a consist of uh, its entries is in the first column, we can call it a column vector. Uh, same thing with B and same thing with C. These are uh, column vectors and these are three by one or three dimensional column vectors and we can think of them like that. So we can think of this matrix like to wrap it up, we can think of this matrix as three three by one or three three dimensional column vectors. Uh, they can also be thought of as you know row vectors. Um, a row vector is uh, something that you'll see as well. Um, you know you can think of this one right here as being a row vector. A, a, a one by three. So you can think of this matrix as having three, you know, M 
dimensional column vectors, or you can think of it as having three um, in dimensional row vectors. And you know we'll get into the column space and the row space and all that. But I wanted to give you this brief introduction to matrices so that we we are familiar with notation. Um, we know you know what a matrix is, and 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 we can even write you know you know over here you know we kind of you know wrote these what look like vectors what we commonly associate as a vector um, as a matrix. But you know when we're looking at this, a commonly I'll refer to it as a vector, um, and it's because you know. This is essentially that's that's just how I would uh, that's how I would refer to it, um, but yeah. So some of the operations that you do on these uh, matrices uh, make some very exciting, and that's what we'll get to in later videos.